Okay, okay, it's time for Advent of Code 2021, Day 6. Not going to waste your time. You can read the description if you don't know what's going on here. Let's go. Lantern fish. Lantern fish. That's a good fish. Okay, let's... Uh... Oops. <laughs> Move up there. There we go. Let's do a little copy pasty. There we go. Lantern fish. Okay. The sea floor is getting steeper. Uh oh. Maybe the slake he's got carried this way. A massive school of glowing lantern fish swims past. They must spawn quickly. To reach such large numbers, maybe exponentially quickly. Uh-oh. <laughs> you should model their growth rate to be sure. Although, oh, is this going to be a little game of life situation? Although you know nothing about the specific species of lanternfish, you make some guesses about their attributes. Each lanternfish creates a new lanternfish once every seven days. However, this process isn't synchronized between every fish. One lanternfish might have two days left. Another might have four. You can model each fish as a single number that represents the number of days until it creates a fish. Furthermore, you reason a new fish would surely need slightly longer before it's capable of reducing two more days for its first cycle. So it's going to start at a new fish will start at nine and count down to, uh, you know, zero and then produce a nine. But also it will also produce a seven because that's itself. Right. So. You could think of a, when a fish makes a baby, it actually dies and makes two babies. That's the same thing, right? Because it's the one of the babies would be a, itself. <laughs> They're just starting again, right? Uh, and the other one would be the baby it had. And then they both start counting down and then split again. Uh, anyway, a signal. Now. Furthermore, a new fish would surely need slightly longer for its give us two more days. So suppose you have a lander fish internal timer value of three. After one day, it's two. Another day, it's one. Another day, zero. Oh, after another day, it would reset to six. Okay, so we're going we're going zero base. So yeah, seven days. But the the timer of six would be a new fish. Okay, uh, create a new lantern fish with an interval of eight. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. So basically, a zero goes away. Whenever you have a zero, you process it by removing the zero and adding a six and an eight. So if you just have a list of numbers, right, any uh, twos get replaced with ones, right? Basically, anything less than, anything greater than zero just gets minus one. So you go down the list of all the numbers. Anything greater than zero, you just subtract one from it. And that's your, right? But anything that is zero, you rem anytime the number every time you find a zero in the list, you remove it and you add both a six and an eight to the list. And now you've processed it. That's how you process one day um, of the of the fish. Li just a list of numbers. Uh, a lander fisher creates a new fish, resets timer to six, not seven, because zero is a valid value. A new fish starts with an internal timer of eight, does not start counting down until the next day. Yep. Right. Realizing what you're trying to do, the submarine automatically produces a list of the ages of several hundred fish. Okay. Uh, this list means that the first fish has an internal timer of three. The second fish has a four and so on. Proceed as follows. Is he all right? Okay. See, it says a zero becomes a six and adds an eight, but you can just delete the zero and have a new six and a new eight. It's effectively the same. Every other number increases by one. Exactly. After 18 days, there are 26 fish. After 80 days, there are that many. Find a way to simulate the fish. How many fish would there be after 80 days? All right, so this isn't this isn't too bad actually. So we got our test input is three four three one two. Uh, 
Okay, it's our test input. Let's get our real input. <laughs> That's a big one. Okay. And this shouldn't be too head. So let's start as we always do um, with our with our parsing. So I think it's just going to be a, a, an int split, right? We're going to only have one line. So we don't even need, right? We don't even need to iterate over the lines. It's a one line input. Uh. So the, the 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 raw line is equal to input file dot read line. And then the parsed input is gonna be in x for x in raw line dot split on commas. Okay, let's just do a, a test of that. Yep, three four three one two, perfect. And let's just do let's just do a test with the uh, the real input as well. Yep, seems good. Very nice. Okay, uh, get out of here. All right, so. Uh, let's just do, um, so the parsed input is going to be our, our starting fish. Let's go, uh, let's call it get next day, right? And then here's the current day of fish, fish. Okay. So we'll say next day is a list, right? For, oh, uh, yesterday oh we'll say uh get get next day so his today and tomorrow right so for fish for every fish in today right if the fish is greater oh if the uh if the fish is zero then tomorrow dot append a six and an eight Actually, I think we might be able to, um, uh, all right, so, uh, oops. Yeah, we could just just do plus equals like that. Else tomorrow append fish minus one. Return tomorrow. Okay, and then we'll just do um. Process fish, right? So now we're going to do multiple, multiple days. So we'll say uh, we got today and the num days, and they said 80, 80 days after 80 days. Okay. So we'll start with the default of 80. Oops, I got an issue here. I learned how to use this... Um, problems window finally no nope. I thought I did <laughs> I keep going I keep going into the stupid filter box because the way the keyboard shortcuts are set up All right, we're getting better at we're getting better at using the problem box, <laughs> keyboard shortcuts. All right, let's process the fish. Um, 
for day in range num days. Uh, current day equals starts by e equaling. I guess we just do use today. Um, today is equal to get n uh, n next day. Uh, today. Current today. Is that it? <laughs> Gotta do anything else? Oh no, wait. Uh There we go. All right, let's see what that says. Oh, still have this terminal. Okay. Get it. Stop it. Five nine three four. Five nine three four. We're gonna be done very quickly, at least with part one. Part two is complete mystery. Um I think it's gonna might part two might be scary, right? Given how easy part one is. Three five four five six four. Three five four five six four. That's the right answer. All right, here comes a scary part two. I'm predicting a scary part two. Suppose the lanterfish live forever and have unlimited food and space. Would they take over the ocean? How many lantern fish would there be after 256 days? Is this going to just take me two seconds? Or is this going to be a per one of those performance issues? All right, well... That's part one. Let's, uh, All right, let's remember to do that. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. said 256 days, right? Yep. Okay. So I should, uh, if we start with the test input, I'm worried about a, uh, I'm, I'm concerned about a performance problem here, <laughs> but we're going to find out. Yep. I was right. Performance problem. We'll see how long it takes to run. <laughs> it's going to take too long, isn't it? It's one of those ones that's not going to finish. Okay. Um, let's, there must be some math principle behind it, but let's just, to see what the performance is, um, let's just see how fast the days are going by. Yep. Look at it. Look at it. Slow down. It's, it's screeching to a halt. We got to do a hundred more days. All right, so there must be some mathematical principle by which, all right, so let's just, um, let's just imagine this for a second, right? So if you have a, it, let's say you have a, a, a one, right? Just one, just one fish. Well, I mean, after two days, right, that's going to be two fish, right? 
So you can you can look at a single there's a, there's a, a mathematical principle by which you can look at a single number and then know how many fish that will be after x days. Right? So um you know, a uh, uh 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 five fish, right? After 0 days will be 1. A 4 after, you know, 1 day uh Five after one day will be one, right? A five after two days will be one. I mean, uh, right, well, still one fish, right? After three days, still one fish. Four days, still one fish. Five days, one fish. Six days, right? Oh no, after five days, it will be two fish. And it will become, right? A six and eight pair. And a six eight pair, right, is basically, you know, it's like, okay, we just have to add up sort of these buffer days here, right? So the we only have to handle the numbers, you know, one through eight. And then we know uh, how many days it you know it takes a six a six eight pair after how many days will be how many fish, right? There's some sort of function there, um, right? So the six eight pair after um, you know five days is still two fish. Uh, after six days is Three fish, right? Which also produces a new six eight pair. Um, right, so there is some, there is some function here. So you know what we can do actually. This is what we can do to figure out the function. Let's stop because it's not going to finish. At least it, it'll finish if we go long. But okay, let's run with a test input of just a six eight, right? Just the six eight pair. Uh, and let's run that for. Uh, like just you know, ten days, and let's look at the numbers. Um, print day, and then print the length of. Uh, let's do this. Uh Okay. Nope, something's wrong. Oh, it's got a quote. Oh, I got the quote. Okay. So there's some sort of function here, right? No, we could we can stop this. Um, all right. So what's what's the function? Two, 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 two. So six twos, right? Because that's the that's the buffer. And then. Three, three, four, 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 five, fours, two, five, two, sevens, three, eights, two, nines, two, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. All right, so there's some mathematical function here. Uh, we have to figure out how do we infer. It's a, the problem is, this is a math problem and not a programming problem. <laughs> Uh, right. 
I guess programming problems are math problems. And I see the path forward. Um, I just don't know the math to do it. This is definitely an exponential function, right? Uh, a zero becomes a two, one becomes a two, so. A function whereby five becomes two, six becomes three, seven becomes three, eight becomes four, right? So we need a function where this is the X and that's the Y, right? This number comes in, that number comes out. You know, we want to say, oh, after 15 days, a six, eight pair is seven fish. After 64 days, a six, eight pair is 429 fish, right? Because then what we can do is we can basically just count down all the fish we have, right, in the, in the input. We can count them all down to zero. Uh, and then say, okay, well, you know, which day, we can, well, we, we can do it in reverse. We can say, all right, we have 256 days. So 256 minus, right, the, the input. So what was the actual input, right? What was the, the test input was uh, 34312. Okay. So we can just say, all right, well, look, um, we got our, let's say we want to do 10 days test, right? So we do, okay, well, 10 days, this three, right? Well, we got three days, but then 10 minus three is seven. So we would take, you know, seven. And we'd say, well, after 10 days, this three will be three fish because you have to subtract three before it becomes the six, eight, and the six, eight will be, a th will be three fish after the seven remaining days. So you have 256 days, you would say, okay, well, 256 minus three is 253. And you say, okay, well, a six, eight pair after 253 days is, right, some number. Um, so we just need to, to figure out the mathematical function where this comes in and that comes out. It's some, it's something to some power, right? Um, what's the relationship between 779 and 71? That's interesting. Yeah. All right. Is there a way we could do like a regression on this somehow? Uh, is there a, like a regression tool on the internet? that I can use. Um, you know, this, this should be enough data here, I think, to figure it out, right? Just this. Let's see what we got with the Google. Uh, or maybe a spreadsheet can do it. Let's see, Google Sheets re uh, regression. Regression using Google Sheets. Google Sheets may be used to find a regression model for data. Okay, well let's um, let's output the data in a in as a CSV, so we can load it into a spreadsheet. So where's our print? Oh, this is day one. This is part one. Part two. So that we just want day comma count. That's our whole. Right. There we go. I think we might have some off by one errors, but um, yeah, all right. We'll figure, we can figure that out at the end there. Uh, Google Sheets, let me, uh, let me make a new Google Sheet over here. Okay. 
Give me a second to make a new sheet. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. All right, we got our we got our sheet now. Wonderful. Okay. Graph the data. We need to select it in the spreadsheet. Left mouse click select the cursor from the insert menu. Select chart. Chart. Here it is. <laughs> All right, that looks. That looks pretty accurate, right? Nice exponential curve here. Um, okay. Uh, exponential regression. Uh, Google Sheets. Growth, give partial data about an exponential growth trend, fits an ideal exponential growth trend, and or predicts further values. Perfect. Um, growth, known data Y, known data X, new data X, V. Okay. Well, I want to know what the function is. I don't want to know, like, this predicted value. I want to know the exact function. Uh, exp exponential function regression. Exponential regression. Let's learn. Okay. Finding the equation exponent effects. It's, we say we get the equation. Okay. Y equals a, B, a times b to the x, where a is not zero. Okay. Mm-hmm. Use your use your calculator. Okay, well let's find exponential regression calculator. Oh, here's one. Enter your data up to thirty points. Advanced mode. Uh you need more than thirty points though. Exponential regression calculator. Uh, days fish. Okay. Uh, however many you want. Okay, so we'll copy our, uh, X's. That doesn't seem the data doesn't seem right. After zero days, it should be one fish. Oh, it's because our test input became. We got the wrong spreadsheet. Uh, what a pain. Okay, hold on. Um, I guess I'll just make a new CSV. No. Dang it. Yes, okay.
There we go. Okay, so this is this is the correct one <laughs> this time. Okay, so let's now we can now we can select this, and there you go. Put in the the correct thing. Calculate. One column has more entries than the other. Oh, so this only has one fifty seven. Oh, okay, so let's only go from one. Let's chop off one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's just, we can add in these numbers to the end of the other one, actually. Nope, we need 158. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, fish equals 1.6508. 109, 109. I don't think this is going <laughs> to, I don't think that one's going to be close enough. If we do 1.65 times 1.09 to the power of days, is that going to, I don't think that's, we need, that's not going to work, right? That's not precise enough. Um, That's not precise enough. But maybe what we can do is we can do a data-based approach, right? Can we, can we just run a single, can we get the six and eight to run to the 256th day? That's the question, right? Uh, so let's just try that here. Let's, get, let's not do this. Can we get, to the end can we get to the 256 day with just the 6 and 8 oh I should have kept the print day okay can we make it wow even with just the two fish I don't think we can make it. So what my thinking here is, right, no fish can start at a number bigger than uh no fish in the in the in the input. Right? If you look at the input. Right? It's like none of these can be more than 8 and in fact None of them are more than five. Um, so what we can do is we can say, all right, look, we just need to know the numbers for a six and eight on the last the last few days, right? Uh, you know, technically the last, you know, eight, seven or eight days would be, you know, whatever, but if we have those numbers, right, we say, okay, well, after 250, you know, I guess if none of the, in oops, uh, right, because then we could say, okay, well, you know, 256 minus 6, so we just need to know a 6 and 8 after 250 days is this many fish. Right after eight, you know, two hundred fifty-six minus eight, right? After what you know, two hundred and forty-eight days, is this many fish? So if we just figure out, you know, the final less than ten days, what those numbers are, then we can just go down the list. We can make a little dictionary of those numbers, right? This is a very uh, inappropriate answer, by the way. This is not the right way to do this. <laughs> this is a cheating way. Um, but it's only going to work if we can do get this to 256. Um, 
which it doesn't even look like this is going to make it. Just the 6 8. Um, seems like this isn't going to make it. Is there some other approach? Um, yeah, I think I might end up editing this. If I go with this approach and I don't think of something better, I'm going to edit this part. I'll edit this part of the YouTube video out. <laughs> Let's see if we can think of something better. Something better we can do. So we take the number of days and subtract, and then we do math on that number of days, and we know that a 6, 8 will be, right? We can. Uh, well, we, we could do the math on the six. All right, so what, what do we think about this, right? So... I guess the problem is, is I kept, maybe I should go and switch to the thinking that the original problem said, which is that the six will keep itself alive, right? The six will keep itself alive for six days and then spawn an eight, right? So we think about that, right? So it's like we start with one fish, you know, say a, say a five. Right, so then we lose five days, and at the end of the five days, we get a six and an eight. Okay. So we went from one fish to two fish. Right? And now, let's just focus on the, the six. Right? We got this eight here, but let's just focus on the six. So that means for every remaining six days, right? So if there are uh, 18 days remaining divided by six, that's going to create three more eights, right? We take the number of remaining days and divide by six, and that's how many eights are going to come out of this six over the course of the entire uh, remaining, remaining time, right? And then, you know, we got an eight. We can say, okay, well, here's an eight. If there's 18 days left, that's going to create two more sixes. Okay, well, what, if we have an eight, we have to subtract. Uh, yeah, over the, it's gonna it's gonna hit no. What's going to happen is the 8 is going to cost 2 days, right? The 8 is going to hit you for 2 days. Boop, it's going to waste 2 days, and then... Right, so that's the same thing as having a 6... Right, so when the 8 that spawns on day 18, you know, the... Here we go. All right. So you're here. You start you start with a three. Let's say we start with a three. All right. Well, that means we have one fish until day three. On day three, we're gonna have two fish. So one, so here. Day zero, one, two. Let's do this in the spreadsheet, actually. Okay, so let's say on day zero, we have one fish, it's number three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's going to be two, one, zero. And then you're going to have a six and eight. Okay, so you have one, 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 two. Let's just make sure that that's correct according to the... 
So two, one, uh, one, yeah, zero, six, and eight. This one becomes a zero, then becomes a six and eight. Two, one, zero, becomes a six and eight. Okay. All right, so now uh, we have two fish, but this six and eight. So if we could just calculate, let's say if we're trying to do, um, you know, dot, 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 right? A hundred days, <laughs> right? We, we can just say, all right, well, you know, forget this six, forget the eight for a second, right? Let's just look at the six on its own. We've got a, a hundred minus four is 96 days. So after 96 days, what will, how many fish will the six become, right? So the six will have, uh, out of 96 days, right? So 96 uh, divided by six is 16. So you'll get 16 eights coming out of this six, right? And they're going to be split up, right? So this is an this is so actually this is like an eight four. We can think of this as like a, a an uh, an eight with um it's an eight with uh two fifty six well eight with a hundred minus four so it's an eight ninety six and this is a six ninety six right. So the 696 is going to spawn a right a 690 right a 6 uh well we don't care about the 6s that it spawns actually we only care about the 8s that it spawns it's going to make an 890 it's going to make an 8 um 96 minus 12 so an 884 Right, an eight, uh, an eight seventy eight, an eight seventy two, right, and so on. Right, okay. So that's one fish is going to spawn these sixteen fish, right? Okay, so that's the only fish that, that's the how many babies this one's going to have over the remaining. So now that we don't need to worry about that guy anymore, we can just say, okay, well, how many babies are these guys going to have recursively, right? <laughs> um, right, well, this 8 on 96, well, it's going to, you're going to have to wait two days. So an 896 just immediately becomes, right, a 694, right? And this becomes a 690. And this becomes a 682, uh, right? So it doesn't make any new babies there, right? Um, and now a 694 is going to make how many eights? Right? It's going to make 94 divided by 6. 16, uh, 15, it's going to make 15 babies, right? It's going to make, um, an eight, right? What's 94 minus eight? It's going to be 86, an 886, which is actually the same thing as a 684, right? Um, and so on. So this made 16 fishes, and then all of those 16 fishes are sixes of some kind, right? As long as the, 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 right, the number of days remaining for that six are greater than zero. So what we can actually do is you just need to build up this lookup table here, right? Um, 
of the six fish and the number of days remaining, how many fish that makes, and then add on, right? Uh, you know, these, and we can do some caching because hopefully, right, you'll have some, some collisions here. You'll say, oh, okay, well, you know, two fish had a baby on the same day. Well, we know how many. We already figured out how many, right? Um, you know, this, if we get more six, you know, 690s, whatever, right? We could do some cash hits there. Unless this finished. Oh, it might finish. <laughs> Maybe in next century. Um, yeah. Something like that. So we, we just need a function for a single fish and the number of days. And then we're going to say, well, how many fish will that one fish be after X days? That's, the, that's what we're going to try to code. So actually, instead of doing this get next day, right? We want to process single fish. Uh, I don't want to stop the thing, though. <laughs> I think we might have to. I don't think it's going to finish. Okay, we're stopping it. All right, so let's get our test input back. Cool. And we can close this. And we, we don't need the template anymore either. Okay. This is fish. Current value. Num days remaining. Okay, so, um, so fish total, we're going to do a recursive, uh, one fish. Um, so the fish total is going to be equal. Oh, it's going to start at one, right? Because it's a, um, you already have the one fish, right? Okay. And then we're going to say if, the fish total is less than uh, or equal to so let's see the one right uh, after one day is still one fish right so if the number of days is equal to it's still one if the number of days is greater than, then we're going to start processing. Okay. No. So if the fish total is less than or equal to remaining days, return one. Okay, cool. Otherwise, what we're going to do We're going to say, uh, uh, first birthday equals remaining days minus fish total. Minus one more. So if there's two hundred, if there's ten days, right? We subtract one, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. And we're asking you to process after after one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an off by one error here for sure, right? Come on. Um, if the number of days left ten is the number of days left, one, is equal 
then still return one total fish. If the number of days left is two, subtract one. Right, and we're gonna oh so the right so the six eight that we're gonna process is going to have um, even one fewer day, right? So it's like we got the one fish, we got him, right? Um, but these the six eight that we've got is going to have right one two three four five six seven eight days. So it, we're going to produce so a one, a one fish. Right. Let's just do a one fish on day one. What I want to produce here is like the six comma what, right? Um, the new fish. Um. Many days minus fish total. So it's it's going to produce a 6. If we did a 110, the 1 would produce a 6 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we got to subtract an additional 1. Uh... Okay. Else, uh, return process one. Oh no. Oh, not fish total. current value is less than the remaining days return one um oh no just return yeah one no oh, just return the fish total oh no the current we can do this Yeah, so now we're we're going to return fish total no matter what, uh, and we're only going to add to the fish total if there's the there's more if the fish is going to make babies, which would mean that the current value of the fish is greater than the remaining days is the only time the fish would ever make a baby. Okay, so the fish total is going to be added to, right? Not we're not going to add. Um, Well, it's just it's how many eights it's gonna. Well, sixes it's gonna produce. Well, you're gonna how many eights it's gonna produce, but then cut those down to sixes. So, uh, we're gonna say, um, if the current value is greater than the remaining days, then the uh, I guess the first. We got to count down to zero. So the first uh, birth is equal to remaining days minus the current value, minus one. Right? So then we want to. The off by one part is just really slowing me down so much on this. I have the I have what I want to do like laid out. It's just the off by one part. And so the one becomes a zero. So then we have a six eight eight, which is the same as a six eight and an and a six. 
We're going to add a 6, 8, and a 6, uh, 6. A 6, 8, and a 6, 6 to the, to the chart. Right? So num fish, num fish. So fish total plus equals pr uh, process one fish. So it's going to be, well, it's not, well, we're not, um, eight and six. May, uh, uh, stupid off by one situation here. Days after first birth. Uh, if X uh, mod six zero. Well, it's the one, six, five. So pretend that this is day is actually day one. So subtract one from each day. So one. So it has. It, so the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, a six is actually a seven. That's the that's why I'm off by one. <laughs> a six is actually a seven. So you could do just remaining days mod seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the number of eights you're gonna produce. But those eights are actually nines. That's right. So we got to think about it as that, as, as plus one on all these numbers, right? So a zero actually is, is one day, well, it will become a, a baby. Okay. So mod seven and mod nine. So now we don't need this minus one. Uh, no, we do. Right there, that's our that's our offset there. <laughs> okay, days after the first birth, um, if x mod seven equals zero, then fish total plus equals right process one fish, and that's gonna we're gonna process a six with x. And we're also going to six with x minus two, because that's the eight fish that's born. Okay, and now we need to do some caching. Um, so there's a way to do this, Python function cache. Yeah. 
Unbounded function cache, sometimes called memoize. Just do at cache. And that's it. Let's test it out. So let's do uh No? Oh. No? At functools.cache. Do you have to do from functools import cache? Oh wait, why am I why is this Python 3.8 here instead of 3.10? What's going on? It's new in 3.9. Oh, come on. Why is it not using why is this messed up this uh this messed up here? My environment's messed up. Come on. All right, we'll just do this then. My, I, I guess my IPython is messed up. Um, that must be the issue. It's still using Python 3.8, even though it's Python. Oh, it, what? There. There we go. OK. All right. So what this is going to do is basically say, all right, look, you know, once you've processed like a single, you know, six with 100 days left, for example, right, then you're, you know how many fish that's going to make. So if we come across, you know, if there's multiple fish born on the same day, then we're only going to need to count how many total fish are spawned from that one fish once, right? And then from then on, we'll have this cached answer here, and we can just do a lookup. All right. So now process all fish. Um, no. Uh, for fish in today,
We could just write this as a one-liner. Right? So we want to return it the sum, right? So for each fish in the list, right, we're going to process that one fish using this for the number of days, right? And then, so this list, this list comprehension will have the number of fish if this, you know, right? And then uh, we're going to sum all of those together. So let's try this with the test input. And we'll be able to fix our, we'll be able to use the test input to, uh, solve our off by one problems that we're definitely going to have. Oh, something's wrong here. Oh, that's the problem. It has no, oh, that's okay. Well, that's not right. <laughs> that's definitely not correct. Okay. If the current value is greater, let's do some debugging. So, oh, we can delete all these. Current value is three. We have one fish. Our remaining days are 80. Cool. That just jumped straight to the return. Oh, I think this, uh, oh, yeah. So the current value is less than the remaining days, right? Because so it's a, a three fish with only one day left is going to be one, right? Um, okay. Oh, current value plus one. No. Current value is less than or equal to the remaining days. There we go. Days after the first birth, so we'll take a look at that one. Now we'll take a look at X. Oh, come back here, and our uh, fish total, and our um, current value, and our remaining days. So the 76 days left, we got a three fish, right? Which is actually a four fish. So yeah, 76 days. Um, so we're gonna process a six, a six, uh, a six zero. Ah, this is why the X is, X is not right. Um, There we go. Yep. Okay, so I'm beginning to see what a, a problem here, right? Is that so this the six fish comes in, right? The six fish comes in. And it's going to process itself, right? It counts itself in the fish total. Um, and then 
right? It makes the the it's counting all these babies. Um, right? It's creating a new a new six here. Uh, because the you know it's. I don't think we need this. We don't need this line. We just need the eights here that it's going to be making. Because all the sixes, all the, the, the sixes that it replaces itself with are counted by this loop, right? Here. They're all going to be ones. Um, it's not increasing the fish. Those aren't going to increase the fish total, right? Um, right, it dies, and it replaces itself when mod 7 comes around. So it's just spawning, it's just only spawning 8s. Right, which are actually 6s that have two, two, less than two, you know, two fewer days left. So the fish total only goes up when an when an eight is spawned, right? The sixes just cycle themselves like this. Well, sevens they set the sevens cycle themselves, right? Oh, but this isn't right either. Like that. Hmm? I think like that. Yeah. Oh, we already have remaining days up there. So this is the new the new remaining days. Okay. Yeah, so 70 so the three fish will be will spawn a Let's just let's just run it through and see if we can get the test input uh correct. So the part one answer should be five nine three four after uh eighty days. Oh eighteen days. Let's go for eighteen days twenty six. Let's try to get that right first. So we get a twenty six. We get we got a problem. Twenty-two, twenty-six. We're off by four. Okay. We're off by four. It's not too bad, though, actually. Um, I think it's going to be an off by one somewhere. Let's go back for the test input. We can actually do this because our our um, our parse here just reads a single line, so it's going to ignore the second line. So, uh, uh, let's see, let's just do these tests, right? A one fish after uh, one day, right? We can do things like this. Let's just do let's do the five fish, uh, the three fish, okay. The three fish after one day, we should see a one. 
correct. Okay, the three fish after two days, we should still see a one. That's correct. There's three fish after three days. It's still one fish. That's right, because it's actually a four fish. Because on the fourth day, we should see a two. Aha, so that's where we're wrong. A three fish well, on the one, two, three, on the fourth day should be two. Okay, so that's where we're off by one. Okay, so the current value is three. The remaining days is four. Okay, let's actually just go... What happened? Okay. So, um, days after first birth would be zero. Well, hold on. Days after the first birth... The remaining days is four. Which means we should remove this plus one. Because there's one... Um... All right, we're processing a four after four days. So there are four remaining days. On the fourth day, there's a birth. So yeah, it is current value. Because there's one day, the birth happens between day three and four. So the day, so yeah, days after first birth, remove that plus one. Okay, four x in range days after first birth. So it's going to be in one in the range of one. Won't have seven in it, right? Uh. So the fish replaced itself, and it added this new fish. Um, oh, but there aren't... Oh, we're going to have to make one baby at least, even if... So the days after first birth, there might not be... Uh, there may not be, you know, more babies coming, right? So here, in this case, we only have one. We have, we found a first birth. A, a first birth is happening, for sure. But um, there aren't going to be any, in the number of remaining days after that first birth, there is not um, going to be any more births. So this is going to take care of all those future births. We don't that first birth isn't being recorded here. Um, right. So we need to record that first birth no matter what. So that first new fish is going to be, right, add one new fish that will be a six in two days, right? Um, and 
and that the six will be greater than the remaining days, right? So it'll skip over this if, because six will be greater than. So it's not less than or equal to the remaining days. So it's just return fish total one fish. Boop, right? So this will be a one. And then uh, if there's enough days left to make more fish, right? So for all those remaining days, if you see any that are, you know, mod seven, if you see any that are mod seven, Then add a fish for those days also. Okay. No, oh, let's just go to the end. Three. Well, that's not right. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe it is. Hold on, because we changed our input. Um, we're asking what? We're asking about a three fish after four days, which would be two fish. So now we're off by one in the other direction. Yeah, because that... Right, the six fish is re is is um we need to kill kill yourself, right? Kill yourself and then get replaced with this fish. No, that's the six that's being born is yourself and here's your baby Huh, why are we getting to three here? Well, let's do some debugging more. Okay, so we're asking for a three fish after four days. Okay, three fish after four days. So um, current value is three, remaining days is four. Cool. The current value is less than. So the days after the first birth is one. There will be one day after the fish is born. Yes, because it's born in between days three and four. So the, the fourth day will be the day after. Okay, so now the, the, we're going back up here. Okay, so now we've got this new fish. Right, It was an eight fish that was actually born on day four, uh, in between days three and four, but it's not going to, you know, which is the same as a six fish being born two days later, which would be day negative one. And, well, obviously, that's not going to ever have any babies, so it it's going to return one and get added to the total, right? So now our fish total is two. Uh, now, for every day after the first birth, okay, so the day after, there's one day left, and that day is not uh, mod seven, right? Oh, why did it come in here? X is zero, 
X mod seven. Oh, because it's zero mod seven. Oh, well, then that could actually be okay. We might be able to get rid of this. Because zero mod seven will, will add a fish. Let's try this. That's correct. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to this one after the test input after 18 days, 26 fish. Twenty nine fish. Ugh, we're still off. We're still off. I think we're going to have to print out this kind of thing. I don't think we can with the way we've we've coded though. Oh boy. All right, let's do some more. Let's do some more simple tests. All right, let's go back to our three fish. Okay. No, oh. Wait, even after 10 days, there's still only two fish? Okay. It's definitely not enough fish, I don't think. Maybe. Uh, well, let's just leave that there. And uh, put our breakpoint in. Okay, we got our one fish that we started with, right? We definitely have plenty of days left. So uh, how many days are left? There are 17 days left, which means, yeah, well, currently, right? Well, we're going to go through all the 17 remaining days and say, all right, well, how many times is this fish we started with going to make a baby, right? So out of 17 days, the answer should be, well, the one, because day one, so zero, right? Zero mod seven is zero. And then on day seven and on day 14. So one, two, three. Three, three more fishes added by this one fish. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is now its baby. The first baby that's being added. Okay. 
So this baby has seven days remaining. Okay, so why is that? So it was days after the first birth. Remaining days minus current value. I think this is wrong here. Because we started with 20 days. So this should be a... And this was born on day... With 17 days left. So after only 3 days... So in between days 3 and 4. So 17 days... Remaining. So that should be come out to be an 8... Well, if we started with a 320... It would be a 219... A 118... A 0, 17, uh, and that should become a 6. <laughs> it's so hard to do. <laughs> okay, so a 3, uh, a 23, should be a 19, 2, an 18, 1, a 17, three, two, a 17, 0. Ooh. And a 16, Six and also a fourteen eight. Sixteen six and a fourteen no a sixteen six and a fourteen six. Sixteen six and a fourteen six. But the sixteen six is um Oh. Here's an idea. Maybe we don't need to loop here. We could just... Oh, here's what we can do. So the current value is less than the remaining days. Right? So you get a three, and then we'll just say, okay, well, process, process. Right? A three, 20. It's actually a four, so you would process a six sixteen and a six fourteen, and that's it. So the six sixteen would be the six remaining days. Minus current value minus one. Right, because twenty minus current value, minus 1, and also um, well, let's try this. Three on a three, two, one, two, one, four, three, two, one, zero, five, three, two, one, zero. Babies. Oh, less than or equal to. So you do current value plus one. Right? Because a, a three on day five would make babies, but a three on day four wouldn't.
and then process one fish. So the day on which you make babies is remaining days also minus the current value minus one. This makes it cleaner and easier to understand. Right? So if you're going to make babies, right? Well, these are the two babies you're going to make. Right? So, you get a fish, right? Here's the one fish being counted. How many days until it gives birth? Current value plus one, right? If there's enough days for it left to give birth, well, then add on, right, the fish it give the two fish that it gives birth to, a few days from now, right? It's going to give a, a, fit, a birth to its its own self, and Right. Um, oh, but in giving birth to its own self, this is good. This here is going to include this one. That's the right again. Uh, do we just put a minus one there? Because we might need to capture all the babies of babies here. Right, we need to capture this guy's babies, but we do need to capture itself. So minus one. Yeah, minus the one it's replacing itself with. All the babies get captured. Um, and then here is the is the babies. We're definitely counting all those. So that's this is killing it, you know, its own child, but capturing its children of children. Do we even need that fish time? See what happens here. Seven. What are our inputs here? Uh, a three after 20 days. That might be right. Um, what's the test input again? 18 days, 26. I think that's too high. Maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Let's try 80 days. 5, 9, 3, 4. Oh, it is right. Okay. So we, we've come up with a, a recursive caching way of doing this, but will this be fat? And it's correct. Will this be fast enough? Um, so 256 
to 56 days, can we get this number? Right? Is this fast enough? Oh, <laughs> two six nine eight four four five seven five three nine, two six nine eight four four five. Ah, we got there. We did it. We did it. Okay, we did it. Give me this number. That's the right answer. We got there. <laughs> okay. We did it. See you tomorrow.